Alrighty folks, check this out. That, can you see that? What's it say? That's all me. I did that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, he did it. It's what's killing my business. Nobody wants to do anything. Thanks, shitty pants. Thanks. I'm going to remember you. That's for sure. I just went to one gas station and they didn't even have any diesel. So I guess I'll get a few gallons to run around with. Yep. This is an Exxon. I don't get 10 cents off a gallon over here. The other station I get 10 cents a gallon. But whoever put these on there, I commend you, sir or madam. Old shitty pants. That's all me. I did that. <laughs> he wanted to he wanted to take Donald Trump to the behind the barn. Donald Trump would beat the living shit out of you. All right. See this guy right here? Right there. I got I was just talking to him. I was just talking to him and he said he put them stickers on the pump. <laughs> He's got a big old giant dually Chevy with a giant trailer. All right, I gotta go to the bank to cover this gas. And then I have to send because I'm selling, sh I'm sending shore vapor, the Bubba blade here, because I mistakenly sent him uh, three Dexter Russells that I had boxed up in a box like this and I thought it was the Bubba Blade that he won. Turns out it wasn't the Bubba Blade. It was three Dexter Russells I was going to sell on eBay. Oh well. Okay Ryan, you got a bunch of freebie flay knives. <laughs> so this one will be the Bubba Blade will be heading your way soon. You know what's really funny? I watch all these other, uh, I watch a lot of um, videos by a guy named Bald and Bankrupt, and he travels through Russia and takes a lot of like Uber type things or taxis and, and they their cars over there are running on like natural gas or not not natural gas he said that they actually have fuel stations over there and you can't hang around you got to get out of the vehicle and if you're a passenger and like stand off to the side or something um and he he's done that with these people a lot and they're methane he said, ain't that something? We don't have anything like that around here. Methane cars? At least that's what he said. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> I remember when I was like in high school, you know, they always used to make fun of Russia because they were standing in line for bread and milk and groceries and st well I'll tell you I'm learning he's over there and they don't seem to have a lack of much it's unbelievable what nine months can do with this absolute piece of human scum I mean it's not even him he doesn't know shit he doesn't even he doesn't know what day it is that moron well they did it I hope you Democrats are having a great time. All right, well, what I'm gonna see here, oh man, I'm going down a bumpy, bumpy bridge here. I'm gonna see how long I can last. Because I was telling a guy who bought my uh, star rods who came by yesterday, I was telling him, 
I said, here's the big difference between 2008 and 2009 and now is when the entire world was economically collapsing. Um, you know, we, we said, or you could say to yourself, well, maybe it'll be better in a year from now. The difference is right now, for somebody like me, uh, we know it's going to be another three years. We know that's what it's going to be. It's a given. So, if you got a regular job and you make decent money and you have, you know, good health care, consider yourself lucky. I mean, I just had a tooth pulled the other day. Dropped $350 just for that. 